Hi there, this is Dr. Abadi, and welcome to the online version of uh, CSE 231 Introduction to Programming with Python. So I'm gonna, th this is just a sort of an introduction to uh, how the class runs. Uh, let's start with why we're here. Uh, well, attached to this, uh, next to this uh, video is another little video about an exoskeleton and helping people walk. And that's really what we're about here, is, is trying to solve problems. And in, in that case, there is a computer that's helping run an exoskeleton, which is changing lives. So this course is about problem solving. Uh, problem solving is hard. You can uh, expect that this course be very demanding, not because we want it to be, because the, pro you know, the issue of learning to solve problems is hard. Our goal is that at the end of this course, if uh, a problem is put in front of you, you'll say, hey, I can write a program to do that. So uh, you know, the background of this is that uh, Bill Punch and I started teaching this course in Python. There really wasn't a good text that we were happy with, uh, so we wrote one. And eventually we created videos to go along with them. And what's different about this course than some other online courses is that the concept is that you're going to read the text and the videos are not the same thing as the text, they're supplementary. So we're not going to try and redo everything in the videos or redo everything online with what we did in the text. That, that's supplemental. Uh, so there are a number of different components to this course. Uh, <coughs> and Let's take a uh, let, let, let's take a look at some of those. So, every week there in a, you know, you will read the book. There will be some uh, videos. There is my programming lab, which are online exercises. Uh, there is a lab to be done. Even though the word lab appears in both of those, they are two separate things. And then there will also be a uh, programming project. There is a due dates page, which uh, you should be able to find a link off of the course page. I'll show you it in a bit. That's really your home. That's your, your uh, guide to what you have to do. Uh, there will be some exams. Uh, for the spring and fall semesters, we have two midterms and a final. The uh, summer session has one midterm and a final. Uh, our course webpage is there. And that is really your go-to point. And off of that, you will find all the videos and things like the due dates page, syllabus, etc. cetera. Uh, there are <clears throat> three grading uh, parts to this. There are weekly programming assignments. There are the exams, which I mentioned. There are the online exercises, my programming lab. Uh, you'll notice that in terms of percentage of grading, the labs don't show up. What we do is we expect you to do the labs. If you miss two, your final grade is reduced by 0.5. That is, that is a big penalty. Don't do it. Uh, for the exams, uh, the uh, proctoring, uh, I'll find a room and proctor the exams on campus for free if you can make that. Or you can do it remotely. It's roughly $15 per exam for the uh, remote proctoring service. Uh, <clears throat> And, and I like a 10-day uh, a warning in front of that so we can get that set up uh, before taking an exam. Uh, we'd like you to get through this. There is three kinds of support here that we have. Uh, there is a TA. You'll be assigned a TA. Uh, there's myself, the instructor, and then there's also online Piazza for asking questions and uh, getting the answers. Uh, <clears throat> during the regular semester, response time averages somewhere around 10 minutes which is pretty amazing. Uh, collaboration, uh, it's not allowed on the programming projects. Uh, and there are some details in the syllabus. I encourage you to uh, read that. Programming projects are your own work. In contrast, both the MPL and the lab are, not only do we allow collaboration on those two, but we encourage it. So there's a difference here. When you're working on the MPL and, and, and on the labs, post stuff on Piazza about it, ask whatever you want, work with uh, other people. In fact, we encourage it, uh, but not on the uh, programming projects. 
Uh, to get started, we uh, use the Anaconda distribution of Python. Very important to get Python 3, not 2. Of course, it's uh, written around Python 2, 3. They are different. Uh, there's a link on the uh, webpage to, to get it. Anaconda is a nice distribution. It's a pretty new one. Uh, be careful uh, for those who take the summer session. The way they're designed here at MSU, they're, they're packed into half a semester, so it's double the pace. So don't take a lot of other courses at the same time. It will come back to bite you. Let's take a look at the web page. Uh, so this is, uh, if you go to the, uh, if you go to this as a, uh, a starting point, then uh, you can choose the online section and there are things like a syllabus. Take a look at that. Uh, there are the due dates page, I already mentioned that. Who your TA is is listed under there. The MPL exercises that we'll be doing. And then each one of these is uh, you know, roughly one a week uh, for each of these pages. And those are links. Uh, and so let's, let's take a look at those. Uh, if we look at the syllabus, okay, that has all the standard things, how to contact me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, one thing that's, that's useful there is the fact that uh, in a, not only do I, I, again, point to the due dates page, uh, but for the lab exercises, programming projects, there, are, there is some flexibility in there, and read those carefully. Uh, my programming lab, those online exercises, there's over, there's about 50 of them. Don't do all thousand or whatever that are there, just the ones that I assign. Uh, those ha have deadlines, but the reality is I only collect the scores at the end, once at the end of the semester. Uh, so you have some flexibility there, but of course if you wait to them at the end of the semester, they don't do you any good. Uh, basically, unless you end up in the hospital, there won't be other extensions. Uh, so there's course grades, standard type of thing, I already mentioned that, and uh, the exams, there's links to the labs and the programming exercises. Check out the academic integrity uh, section. Notice this unusual one at the bottom. <coughs> Simply showing your solution to another student almost guarantees a zero score. Past experience shows that a student who asks you to look at their solution will copy parts of it, pass it along to someone else who copies it. Guess what? You both end up with zeros. Uh, check out this one here. You're encouraged to discuss specifications, problem solving strategies. However, once you begin implementing your solution in Python, you must work individually. That is on your own. All right, let's back up here show you what one of these pages looks like. Uh, down at the bottom here, we have this welcome video and the exoskeleton video, and then we can go to the, the uh, uh, any one of these page. Uh, there's one here on uh, start getting Python and starting with Python. So you can see the pattern to uh, every week. What do we do? We have, um, you know, there's a reading, read the chapter, and then there's some videos, and then there's some my programming lab exercises, okay? Uh, and, and that's what you get going during the week. Uh, let's back up again, and let's take a look at the due dates page. This is for a spring semester, but you can see the pattern again here. Every week, there's a, a chapter to read, videos to do, a lab, and uh, some my programming lab. And uh, every week after the after we get rolling here, there's a project due every week. There'll be a couple of exams, no project due that week, but there is a lab, and so on. Rinse and repeat. Right? That that is the uh, that is the pattern as we go through here. Let me back up one more here. If I go to the, uh, the general course page, this is for uh, both the online and the uh, on-campus section. So you'll see that there are uh, two 
lectures on, uh, on campus as well as online. And here, since everybody is doing these, this is where we find the links to the computer projects, the exercises, the electronic hand-in, there's a link to the Piazza discussion forum, a thing about uh, coding standards, um, uh, and then there is a website for the textbook which has things like all the exercises and code examples and stuff that there. Here's one that you'll be very interested in. All our old exams are posted on there, so you want to see uh, what they look like. That'll be that'll be handy for you. If I go to the online section, notice that uh, one last thing here uh, to download the Python. Make sure you get Python three when I'm making this video. The the uh, the one is three four. You really want it, you know it defaults to loading Python 2, so you have to select, I want Python 3.4. That's it. Let's get started, and good luck with this.